there is nothing wrong with your television set. You are about to participate in a great adventure. Another episode of Freddy's Nightmares back in this fucking loft. This is. They had no money at all. It's profound. It's beautiful. Not to mention frightening. I can't believe we're here again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Now they don't reuse just the cast members again. We're using sets over and over and over and over. Hey! I know her. She was everywhere back in the day. She was in summer school. Whoa, girl, this ain't through the air. Oh, thank you. She was in an episode of Quantum Leap. It was my fault. I wanted to work on the triple. There is no triple. There could be. I can do it, Papa. We could be headliners again. We are headliners. Of what? And macho? That's my whole name. First, middle, and last. She was hot. No shit. You see, I'm the answer to this question. <laughs> yeah, art's getting quite a following. Yeah, I see. What is art? Sort of takes on a whole new meaning, doesn't it? Well, that's the idea, man. <laughs> he looks like John Bernthal before he got his nose broken. No, 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 no! Wait, 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 wait! Nobody really knows the answer to that question, though, do they, Art? No. Uh -huh. But I know what isn't art. And what's that, man? You. I feel a sudden urge to use the bathroom. Feel a performance coming on? Hey, what I do is... What? It makes a powerful statement. I'm afraid powerful statements don't sell. In fact, only two things do. And what might those two things be? The work must either be so beautiful and attractive that you have it in your living room, or it must be so valuable that it's a good investment. And, uh, what is your opinion of the statue? Bullshit. I don't know. What you could get as an artist, honestly, like... You just paint some shit and some fucking rich asshole goes, oh my god, that's so amazing. Let me spend, how much is it? As I did an episode on Sunnies, whatever somebody would pay for it. Which is true. Same thing goes for our real estate. It's whatever somebody else would pay for it. But according to the market or whatever, but there's no, what's the market for art? Whatever rich asshole thinks it's interesting, I'll pay a million dollars just so I can tell people, I bought a new million dollar art piece that you can see. It's over here, let me show you. Summer School was one of my favorite movies as a kid. And Quantum Leap was my, one of my favorite shows. So, that's how I remember her so much. But she also looks like that girl at times, I would confuse her with the girl from Hot Shots.
Hey! Wouldn't you rather see the original flesh and blood version of that body? I'll be there in a few minutes. This guy looks like a porn star, too. Most of these people look like porn stars. <laughs> uh, what porn star does he look like? I don't know. Looks like Sean, John Aston and fucking Burt Reynolds. What? He makes a statement. And George Carlin. Just all mushed together. Not you two. Everyone at the party heard you say you should kill yourself. So that's what it'll look like you did. I'm gonna be rich. Honey, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. I had a nightmare. <laughs> he tried to kill me. Now that's silly. Why would I do that? It was like, I'll buy that piece right there. What do you call it? That's my bathtub. Why is it out here with the other pieces of art? <laughs> there used to be a bathroom here. We covered the floor for the toilet. <laughs> That's why it smells like shit. <laughs> Knock it in or knock it out? What? Is he choking on it? She did that shit on purpose. <laughs> Otto, you cheated on me. <laughs> they couldn't even make a good sculpture, bro. Why would you cut his eyes out and not his fucking mouth? You told me. You're supposed to leave the tube in there so he can breathe. We get out of the cast, we pour alcohol over him, put him in my car, and send him over a cliff. Are you insane? He's not gonna care, he's already dead. The cops will find the car, they'll identify it as mine. Uh, because the body was already covered in so much alcohol, it'll be too burnt to be recognized, they'll assume it was me. I can't believe you're saying this. You don't get it, do you? In the eyes of the art world, I'll be dead. Play up my death. Make it sound lurid, sensational, an outrageous end to an old too brief, passionate life. Oh boy, the critics will eat this up. This is stupid. That's what this is. There's nothing to say. I'm bored to death. Maybe they're just kind of trying to get rid of this guy fast. Maybe he's like a friend or something. Like, hey, we got this part. Um, yeah, let's do this quick. <laughs> oh, it's the cheapest shit. You know what? Art is shit, man. You know what I did once? This was the laziest thing. I was a kid. I was into art when I was younger. My art teacher was like, you have so much talent and all these things. You just want to be the class clown. <laughs> you know what I made? This was like, oh, you got to do an art project. It's a big fucking deal. All I, did, I took a fucking watch. I put it in a box. Poured cement around it. Actually, the the clock I wanted to be cracked, so I tried to hit it to crack the glass, but the whole thing broke. And it looked fucked up. I was like, shit. I remember I told my dad, he's like, why didn't you wait for me? I would have done it. I would have done it. I said, it's okay. 
So he put it in the cement in the box for me. I took it into school. They said, they said, what says the title? Frozen in time. Oh my God, it was so amazing. It was fucking bullshit. It got featured too. And some fucking, I didn't go. <laughs> There's some art thing. I, was, I didn't go. So what the fuck? <laughs> that shit came up. Oh, this is easy. I know how to do. It was garbage. Molly told me about it. Take a look on pages 78 through 95. It's a whole spread on you. Loser. <laughs> Aside from saying you were a genius, it says your art has skyrocketed in value. Garrett Marks himself has bought over $2 million worth. You know, Springwood's pretty poppin', right? It's got like the coolest fucking fast food place ever, better than McDonald's and Burger King, Beefy Boy Burger. You want, you can buy a shirt over here at GrossCrusadersMerch.com. And then the coolest pizza parlor too, you can also get one of those shirts. It's like, it's a, it's a pizza parlor, but then at night it's a club, it's a pizza club. You get soda and shit and teens go and they bop. It's like awesome, dude. You get a shirt there too at GrossCrusadersMerch.com. It's Cheesy Boy Pizza. Let's just say, you lining up at my door. I'll send a truck over first thing in the morning to pick them up, okay? I'll be here. Thanks, Molly. Poor Alex. You'll never get to enjoy all this money. You'll just have to enjoy it for it. Did you hear that? You'll never have to work again. I like the way she went. Huh? <laughs> Isn't that great? Um, listen, I have to go to the travel agent and pick up the airline tickets. Oh, you have to go right now! <sighs> Boy, that escalated quickly. Whoa, bro. Chill, what the hell? How far is this, uh, travel agency? I don't know, about, um, 15 minutes each way. Good, then you should be back in about a half an hour, right? Give or take. Why? Because if you're not that way, I'll know that you're at his place. Oh, who's him? Whose place? Oh. You dirty, dirty girl. How'd you know I was? <laughs> I don't know why she's talking like she started sounding like fucking Christopher Walken all of a sudden. I don't know how he knew that it's him, Art, my lover. <laughs> Police are here. You're under arrest. Very surprised to see me. Of course not, Alex. I knew you were alive all along. You never did anything interesting in your entire life. The time of my life, Alex. I got to trade the collected works of the late Alex McFain, which are worth more money than I ever dreamt possible. But do you know why I'm really happy? No. Why? Because now I get to kill you. I get to keep Oh my god. What's that supposed to mean? You were right, Alex. I was having an affair. <laughs> Whoa, big deal for the 90s. Move over, Ellen. This show did it first. <gasps> Look at that. They're gonna kiss. You're not serious. 
bigot. Molly, what are you doing? Repeating history, Alex. You're about to die. You're a bad person, Alex. You know, I just never knew you had such a sense of humor, Molly. You're not an ally of the alphabet community. You can't murder a man if he's already dead, right? Look up, Alex. Meet your maker. I wonder if it was a dream. Oh shit. That was the end of that one. Well, that was pretty shit. That's the only interesting part of the lesbian thing. Besides that, that was pretty boring. She looks familiar. Wow. Too hot. Stacy, you're spilling crumbs all over. So? So, potential roommates are coming over. Who's gonna want to live with us if we look like slobs? I don't know. Another slob? Do me a favor, Stacy. Don't act like a wild woman. Only for do me a favor, Gina. Don't act like you have a stick up your butt. Oh my god. Is that Ralph Cifaretto's fucking girlfriend? The one Tony? I just you know you're getting a divorce! And I see you less than before. I just want your undivided attention for once. Is it so much to fucking ask for a little bit of attention? Ah! Oh my god! Shit. Ah! 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I got it. It's out. Excuse us. We have company. That's her. It looks like her, but it looks like Sloane Peterson. But no, that's her. She was a kid in here. Female roommate wanted out? Oh, yes, come in. I'm Gina. Hi, this is Stacy. Stacy is something La Pal. She's a, she's the Dom Dominican or Puerto Rican? Um, I, was kind of I think she's Dominican on the show. She was like the least interesting Tony Soprano girlfriend. She was interesting at first, you know, because she was involved with Ralphie. I can hang a sheet from the corner and, and that'll be my bedroom. I really need a place to live. I just got kicked out of my apartment. Oh, great. So you're a troublemaker. No, I... I rescued this stray dog that was hit by a car. And I took it home and nursed it back to health. You liar! I haven't slept in my car ever since. Well, where's the dog? I had to give it to a family that didn't. had a kid to love her, and it's not hard to play in. Well, what do you say? Save me from homelessness? Oh, we don't even have a bed for you. I was going to sleep with one of you. Bathtub? Either night. Oh, the bathtub. Somebody died in this bathtub. We specifically rented this loft because of it. Well, okay. Under one condition. She's cute, though. She was cute. And she was attractive on Sopranos, but compared to the other ones, Tony had some amazing girlfriends. And he just wondered, why was he with Carmella? <laughs> so, I see you're into ecology. It's important. I know. Tell me more about what you're into. Maybe I can get involved again. Yeah, he's just trying to get in her pants. That's where you're wrong. I spent all of 88 on a boat with a friend of mine cutting tuna nets to save dolphins. You? I'm sure. Scout's honor! The only reason we quit was because one of the tuna companies put a price on our heads. I know that's not from a motorcycle accident or a football injury or something. Why would I lie about something like this? Hell, pie. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? Mr. Richardson, Brenda Barnes. Is he up there? Let him up. Yes, come in. Your friends always visit this late. No, something must be wrong. Damn, this guy's really trying to get in this girl's pants. He's gonna set this whole shit up. 
I how did I know this was gonna happen already? Damn, bro, he really. <laughs> this is serious. I want to warn y'all. Who are you? This is Gina, my new roommate. Gina, this is my friend Troy. Yeah. The tuna company. <laughs> You should have it would have been like, oh, I'll take it off his shirt. And I looked up. I get that fucking J Lo movie. I was just wondering, weren't you afraid out there? Uh, where? Out at sea. Saving the dolphins. Weren't you scared you'd get killed or something? Yeah, I was scared. Oh shit, he took my advice, bro. But I Look at this. <laughs> Oh my god. This is so stupid. It's funny. Wait, they got bathtubs. Oh, what? Wait, there's a curtain, right? Or something? Oh, they just moved the bath. I forgot it rolls. What was I say? Wow. It was so hot. You're saving dolphins. Really turns me on. I was just wondering. Would you save this tuna? <laughs> oh, he's gonna do both, huh? This is tell you, man. A lot of these are I said it in the beginning of the last episode. A lot of these are like fucking pornos. How about you? You like Bajabi? Tell you the truth, I'm a little tired of them after having lied every night for a year. Oh, God, don't tell me one of those groupies that followed him around. No, no, no. <laughs> I worked uh, security for the uh, Brotherhood tour. Get out of here, you did not. Yeah, I did. Well, not of course she likes Bon Jovi. He's from New Jersey. When she gets older, she's going to leave this crummy Springwood and move over to Jersey and find herself a good entrepreneur. A man that knows how to make money. A leader of types. But then she's gonna leave him because he's a sick fucking pervert that likes to get his balls grated with a cheese grater. And she's gonna go for some big fat Italian, a sausage. This guy was the son of this big mobster named Tony Puccelli. See? It's Soprano, I know. Hi, how are you? Guido, how'd you find me? Look at this. Is this real or is it a dream? Mr. Buscemi is not very happy with you right now. It's only me. Oh, you scared the hell out of me. With the light full blast right here. <laughs> and that's a fucking hair thing, right? You really work for Bon Jovi? Yeah. Mr. Bovine Joni. I bet you met a lot of pretty girls in tour, huh? I'm as pretty as you. Uh, none of them came close to you. See? You don't have to say I that. I know I don't have to say that. I'm as corny <laughs> as the screenwriters in Freddy's Nightmares. <laughs> when girls talk. Problem start. So <laughs> we told you about that too. You know what we should do? We should change the locks. <gasps> Doubt that'll help. The guys that are after him could probably get through anything. Yeah. The mob guy's pretty tough. The mob guy? Yeah, the guy that's after art. I didn't know tuna fishermen are tied to organized crime. You never heard of long fishermen? He obviously never had a father that came home yeah. one day after a long day's work with a case of lobsters. <laughs> and on top of that, a new zucchini deep fryer. I fell off a truck. 
You sure you don't want me to stay? For your own safety? Let's get the hell out of here. Okay, this is good. Everyone does as I've told and nobody, nobody gets hurt. Well, if it isn't art. Look at her. Well, she looks like Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> Oh, lame. This is not a joke. We're really being held up. Do what I say. No way. Not a chance. You would kill this guy? Sure. Sure. We don't like him much anyway. Pick up the gun. Very good performance. Kick him like you did last time, Mark. Pick up the damn gun. I pointed at him while I told the cops. You know, you could have at least used a realistic looking gun. That one's so fake. It's a real gun. She pointed at him. Game's over, Art. It's fake, and I'll prove it. No! Oh, shit. It's real? I thought that... Very good. Maybe it was the guy, his friend. He wanted to rob him. He didn't fucking pay me the money for acting. <laughs> Guido is the queen. We're not falling for it. No, he's just calling Guido. Oh shit, it's Richard Grieco. Richard Grieco is a likable combination of Bruce Willis and Johnny Depp. He's an engaging presence with laid back panache. That's it? Well. That second half went pretty fast, and that first half kind of sucked. This episode is titled Fun House. Haunted, give me a break. I'm not kidding you, lady. This place is famous for it. Oh, a haunted house. A new idea. Oh, man. It's the fucking perverted. Not even using this fucking guy. All I know is what I hear. Oh, Lord. We've come through every single fucking cast member, really. And I'll follow up to this fucking episode. Was that this season? That's how long ago it was? I don't even know if it was this season. The one with the woman and the fucking stories. Ugh, there's so many episodes. This fucking thing. But he can't catch him. So one day, when he's supposed to be out of town, he shows up. And what do you know? There she is in the bed with another guy. And he slit her throat from ear to ear. Imagine driving a man that crazy. What did you say your name was? Uh, Jillian, sir. Emma, this is Jillian. Uh, the maid. I didn't hire a maid. She comes with the house. Oh, God. Man, he was, he's so horny. He was even fucking hitting on this bitch while the guy was there, the husband of the house. I mean, here you are, new in town. Here I am, a native. I can show you around. I'll bet you could. Of course, the fact that I'm married means absolutely nothing to you. I never let details get in the way of a little fun. Maybe some other time. Like tomorrow. Well, then who did? It's an anniversary present from Colin. He says if this doesn't keep you together, then nothing will. in hers handcuffs. That ex-husband of yours is one sick puppy. Yeah, well, he was your best friend. Exposition. Who's this bald ass? <laughs> he looks like me. Colin. I'll be honest, I, I came here to tell you that I still love you. I, I want us to get back together. I'll make everything right, I swear it. What are you gonna do? You gonna love me some more? I don't want your love. Why won't you let me in? What are you afraid of? Let me love you, I can make you so happy. Oh my God, this is like a child wrote this. Who wrote this episode? 
I love you. I don't want your love anymore. <laughs> Back door was open. Not a good idea. And you just break into my house? Oh, she's gonna I bang him. I know exactly what you're like. Hello? You've never been faithful to anyone in your whole life. Are you all right? You're just like me. Well, I'm the man of your dreams, honey. Are you there? I know more about you Hello? than you know yourself. Is he really as good as he thinks he is? Oh, Lord. <laughs> this show, bro. She's gonna, like, hit him or something or, like, embarrass him. Take the handcuffs away. <laughs> Uh-oh. Am I predicting it? I told you, porno. Where are the ghosts? <laughs> the producer, Robert Chase, like, what the fuck is all this about ghosts? Take this shit out. Sex, more sex. Doing what? How did you make the chandelier fall and the painting bleed? Look, I don't know what you're talking about, but if you're not going to take your clothes off, you better take these cuffs off. What's going on in here? Hey, hey, look, all I'm doing is bringing back one of your boxes. Yeah, with your pants half open? Well, you better ask her about that. I don't need to. This is a jerk that's been haunting the place. Hey, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Listen to me. Why do I... I can see the lipstick on his face. I thought he was going to be like, I'm going to get the camera. Mm-hmm. 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 So much for you, ghost. It's really lame, Emma. Can't you see there's something weird going on here? Weird? <laughs> I suppose I should be grateful you didn't have him up in our bedroom. Well, seems like you just should have gotten caught doing it. He would have enjoyed that more. <laughs> You don't think, oh, this guy's over here knocking again? This guy deserves to get arrested. I told you, he, this guy's a fucking perv. He was a perv in that episode stalking that fucking woman. Ah, uh, this guy's ghost man. He's in every episode with ghosts. That's what he is. <laughs> be the old man now or the old man's watching this guy's a cuck uh, oh no oh no your boyfriend your ex-husband that creep is around too maybe he's the one haunting the place a doy my nigga <laughs> You fucking bitch, I bought this house because of you. But when I left Colin, I betrayed myself. He's the only man that's really loved me. Do you think you're gonna be loyal to him all of a sudden? I'm sorry, it's the way it's gotta be. This is called bullshit. Robert, let me out! 
I have a bunch of guys coming over in about five minutes. You're not fucking this up for me. Now I'm gonna get the camera again, and this time we're gonna do this. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, shit. Ooh. That was kind of gross. That kind of was rough. Bro, this episode's the cop, the cuck episode. I'm telling you, the, the, all these innuendos in this fucking episode. Ties are up. No, it's not any of that. I'm just fuck it around. Oh, some. It is the husband. She's cute. And she can act at least. I hope they're not gonna go. Who's calling? I got your message. I came immediately. You can't imagine how wonderful it feels to hear you say you love me. I love you so much. I I I do anything to get you back. I'll make you so happy. You know I can. You know I will. I'll, I'll buy you a house better than this. Come away with me now. I can't now. But tonight, I'll give you an answer. <sighs> tonight? Yes. Uh-oh. She's gonna make him watch now? This is, oh my god, this is a cuck film fucking episode. Do you know what love is? I want you to show me. Maybe the bed starts to shake. Oh, thank you, Collins. <laughs> Look at her, bro. What a bitch. What a bitch. <laughs> With a gun? I think you should kiss her. Let out, Emma. What? Kiss her. Like your life depended on it. And don't stop. Oh, okay. I keep hoping like it's gonna get better. I mean, this that was an interesting ending, I guess. I don't know. That's stupid. I don't give a shit about that. He's so whack. Freddy's so whack. What's going on now? We're gonna. F what? Oh, that's how he got out. Oh, shit. That's all I remember. I came back a couple of days later, but people were gone. You mean they moved? No, I mean they were gone. Not a trace. But somehow, this thing opens up. How bizarre. How bizarre! How bizarre! She's in on this? No. Yeah. Maybe. No. She's got to be in on it, right? Ooh, that's a bingo. <laughs> Is he going to hit on this one, too? I mean, here you are new in town. Here I am, a native. I can show you around. I didn't know Springwood was such a hotbed of tourism. Good to think we just came for a little quiet. Well, there may not be much to look at. There sure is a lot to do. Maybe she's gonna actually give him some. Mmm. <laughs> My husband is in a wheelchair. Maybe I'll see you around sometime. Maybe that's this old guy's fantasy too. These guys are all fucked up in <laughs> this episode. It's got left on the truck. Thought I'd bring it by. Oh well, thank you. I'll see that Mrs. Hall gets it. Well, I'd like to give it to her myself. I had to see you. I doubt you're that desperate. I want you to leave right now. No, you don't. Come on, what's the deal with you and the old man? I know you don't sleep together. I carried boxes into two bedrooms. That is none of your damn business. Beautiful woman like you, it's definitely my business. 
How long has it been? A year? A decade? I love my husband. What's that got to do with anything? Well, there's some things Victor can't do, but doesn't mean there isn't sex of a kind. We play games. Nothing with handcuffs. No. Victor has a collection of uh, antique pistols. We do role play. Sometimes he's a spy. Sometimes he's a pilot. And he holds me at gunpoint and makes me strip while he watches. So he likes to watch, huh? <laughs> Sounds like the last guy that. Oh well, they don't know him. I just came to say goodnight, my love. Victor, I can explain everything. There's no need to explain. Does he satisfy you? If he does, ask him to stay. I only ever want you to be happy. <laughs> what the fuck? Very strange guy. That is one very strange guy. No. He's the most wonderful man in the world. Ah, boy, here we go. She's going to make love with him, too. It's a whole... Just a porno. <laughs> I didn't know I was watching porn on my spare time. <laughs> Freddy's Nightmares is straight up become a soap opera. I mean, bro, they talk about how much sex they did in that documentary, but geez, Louise, it's been every episode since the end of the last season, I think. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Well, he needs to get satisfied, too. Let me just get my lotion. <laughs> oh, ho, oh, hold it. Let's talk about this. <laughs> Take it. Go on. Take it. Now tell me. Tell you what? Tell me what comes off first. <laughs> Are you nuts? Turk, you're so much like Victor. I thought it'd be fun. Now tell me. Victor's like, I can't do anything with this thing. So I just go along. She's so horny. All the time. I just want to watch Star Trek. I just want to watch Jean-Luc. Victor's probably behind it with Craig. What's his name? Craig? I forgot his name. Her and Craig are working together. Yes, Victor and Craig. They're working together. They're two creeps and this woman. Victor is Craig, or Craig is Victor. Craig's pretending to be an old man. You should think I did this. You think I went to the gun case, stood up? Took out the gun and loaded it? There's one thing you know for sure, Turk, it's that I can't walk or move. Evelyn could have gotten the pistol from the case. Yes, but uh, who got the bullets out of the case, Evelyn? Oh, Jillian. You. Well, if no one else is going to call the police. Jillian, stop! You haven't got the guts. Bravo. Oh, a bunch of surprises. Oh, shit. What is this? Welcome to, you've just been punked. It is, I knew it. I knew it. We couldn't have written better. 
I, I'm afraid we've been less than honest with you, Turk. My, my name is Colin. My friends and I have been having a little fun with you. You mean none, none of this stuff is real? None of it! No, it was all play acting, just a harmless little psychodrama. But I was having intercourse with that lady. <laughs> I wasn't playing acting. Well, not I'm sorry, it's over. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, well, actually, it's not quite over yet. See, we have one last point to make. Point? Uh, well, yes, this is, after all, a morality play. Yes. The man who lives by his spike shall perish by the spike. <laughs> well, it was good. He was annoying. Oh, what's going to happen now? What is this? Mm. Would you like another espresso? My petit chou? Yeah, thanks, Dom. <laughs> oh, that's why her accent was terrible. <clears throat> Madame and Monsieur, the milkman is here. Oh, milkman. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> this. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, so that was episodes 17 and 18 of Freddy's Nightmares and season two. And Interior Loft Later was so stupid. I don't like it. I don't rem I The first half with the artist and... Ugh. And then the second half with the two girls. Eh, it was whatever. That's whatever episodes. Uh, I really don't think I like Interior Loft at all. The second one maybe a little bit because you know it's John Bernthal and then the girl from The Sopranos, Leslie Vega. Uh, Funhouse, I liked. I liked it. I liked Funhouse. I don't. Not sure. I liked. Yeah, I liked it. That was that was a good episode. It was funny. I didn't think it was going to be exactly a porno because I said that was going to happen. In the interior loft, but that that's what the show's become and it has. But I liked Funhouse. I thought it was a good episode. All right. Well, I don't know when this is going to go up because I've been having problems recently. So we'll see. I don't know where it's going to go up. So anyway, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new here. Share this with somebody you know that would enjoy this video too. And um, yeah, I will talk to you guys next time. Peace.